Hey audience, this is Prajesh Chaudhary, Yokandam Guru. In this video, I will solve the same problem that I solved in the previous video. In the previous video, I solved using symmetry argument. One subscriber of mine pointed about a little mistake that I committed there. I will correct here in this video. And also had difficulty in the distribution of current. So first of all in this video, I will uh, quickly rectify the mistake. And, but still the answer would be same because of the nature of the reverse symmetry and how the current distribute or the symmetry or the reverse symmetry works for that i'll go for the general method kirchhoff's law and using kirchhoff's law i'll demonstrate how the current would be so let's go to the main problem this was the main problem uh, this was a network and we had to find the effective resistance between a and b so the, again the same network so I had named these points P and Q, R and S and this was A and B. So one by one this R is between A and P here. This R is between A and Q is here. This R is between P and Q here. And here I had mistake. There is no resistor between P and S. In fact uh, this should have been there is a R and Q. This is R and Q. So the resistor should be like that. And I just made it like that. So this is wrong. So using symmetry argument because there is a diagonal symmetry. So I told that whatever is current will go here the same current will go there. And whatever current will go there the same current will go there. However correct reduced diagram is this this is r and this is r still there is a diagonal symmetry for this part so again because of the reverse symmetry whatever current would be there the same current will go here and whatever current is here whatever current will go here the same current will go there so even if i put it like this or like this our answer will not change so i will quickly show the solution using the symmetry argument and then I will go rigorously to solve using the Kirchhoff's law. Alright. So once again if we have to find equivalent resistance between A and B I will put some battery of voltage I if the battery sends current I and the current I should be such that V is equal to I R equivalent. So R equivalent or R A B would be V by I. Now you see this. This is the main part. Suppose this current is I. The current that is here is divided here X and I minus X. So if this current is X, so this current is X. This current is I minus X. This current is I minus X. If this current is P, because of symmetry, this current is P. This current is Q, so this current is Q. And I will assume this current is say let Z. So now for this part from here to here I want to use the Kirchhoff's law. So voltage from here to here as I come uh, will be same as voltage from here to here and all resistances are R. So voltage from here to here is R into X plus P. X and P are the currents. And the voltage from here to here is R into I minus X and simplify that we will get P is equal to I minus 2X. I request you. Uh, you also check these uh, calculations all right and then using kcl kirchhoff's current law this q and p add up to make x mean x is the sum of q and p so from here we can get the q is equal to 3x minus i and now apply the kirchhoff's current law at this junction uh, incoming current is i minus x and p outgoing current is z plus q so z plus q is equal to uh, P plus I minus X we got P and Q solving this we will get Z is equal to 3 I minus 6 X all right and now I want to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop so I want to uh, go from Q to sorry I want to go from Q to S through two paths uh, one I'll go from Q to R and then to S and then directly from Q to S all resistors are again R. So if I go from uh, Q to S through this path, so voltage will be R into Z plus P. And if I go from Q to S through this path, voltage would be R into Q and that is this equation R and R will get cancelled. 
and from here using all these above equation I can solve and get x is equal to 5i by 11 so x is equal to 5i by 11 so put this x in this q so if I put this x into this q I will get q is equal to uh, 4i by 11 all right now I want to apply uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop in this loop so this voltage is V, so this voltage should also be V. So this V is uh, R, I'll take common, all resistances are R, R into X plus Q plus I minus X. And this X and X will get cancelled. So R is equal to Q plus I. And put the value of Q, you will get R is equal to 15 I by 11. And uh, compare it, if this overall resistance was RAB, so V should have been I into RAB. So obviously RAB will be 15R by 11 as uh, I got it wrongly. In the last video I took the resistor this way. But why we are getting the same resistance? Because first of all all the resistors are equal and still the reverse symmetry works. So that's why we uh, got the same answer. And now for the clarity of why this is x, so this should be x, this is i minus x, this is i minus x, this is q, this is q and this is p and that is p. For that part, I will go a general method, Kirchhoff's. So once again, the same network, current i enters at a and leaves the current from b. So first distribution, suppose uh, this current is x and obviously from KCL, this current should be i minus x. Uh, let me assume that this current is say T1 and because of the current that is the polarity. Potential difference from here to here should be same as from here to here. So potential difference from here to here is uh, R into X plus T1 and potential difference from here to here is R into I minus X. So just solve this and we will get T1 is equal to i minus 2x and now uh, there should be some current here uh, we can do directly the current this current should be such that the sum of these two should be this so obviously uh, this is 3x minus i and that would be polarity because of the current you can cross check 3x minus i plus i minus 2 as x and now let me assume that say this current is i t2 and this is the polarity once again I want to go from P to R through this direct path and through this path via Q same PD I should explain so PD from here to here is R into 3x minus i and PD from here to here is R into i minus 2x plus T2 So solving this, we will get T2 is equal to uh, 5x minus 2i. And now using KCL here, this is 5x minus 2i, this is i minus 2x, this is i minus x and there should be some current here. Uh, say that current is T3 and T3 should be such that the sum of incoming current that is i minus 2x is equal to 5x minus 2i plus this T3. And just simplifying that and you should see that that should be 4i minus 8x and that is a straightforward thing. And now on this part, suppose current is say this current is T4 and because of the current direction that is a polarity. Once again, uh, I want to go from Q to S first via R. Q, R, S and directly from Q to S, resistors are the same. So obviously as I go from here to here and here to here, I should explain same voltage. So voltage would be R into 5X minus 2I plus T4. And uh, that is same as R into 4I minus 8X. And if I simplify that thing, R and R will get cancelled. So I should get T4 is equal to 6i minus 13x. Using Kirchhoff's current law, we can directly get this current, these two currents and these two currents you can again cross check and these two currents would be as shown. 
All right, so I got the current in all branches in terms of X. Uh, what I want to do now, I want to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop. So if I apply in this loop, so I will get one more equation and that equation would be in terms of X and I. So I'll get X in terms of I. So once again, what I will do, the voltage from R to B. I'll come directly from here and the same voltage would be uh, if I go from R to B via S. So voltage from here to here is R into 21 X minus 9 I. And the voltage from here to here is R into 6 I minus 13 X plus R has taken common plus 10 I minus 21 X. This R and R will get cancelled. And you just simplify it and you should see that that is 55 X is equal to 25 I. So X is equal to 5 I by 11. All right. So we got value of X 5 I by 11. So putting value of X here, we will get that. Uh, we'll we'll get the current in all branches. Now, uh, I had earlier stated that this current and this current are same. This current and this current are the same. This current and this current are same. And these two currents are same. So let's see whether uh, what I told was correct or not. So this this is X and this 10 minus 21 X. I'll put the value of x here you will say see that that will come to be 5 i by 11 so these two current are same so that first thing and now i minus x and 21 x minus 9 i just put the value of x see for yourself you will get these two are coming to be 6 i by 11 so once again so this these two current the same And now this i minus 2x and 6i minus 13x. Put the value of x, you will see that these two are also same. So these two are coming to be i by 11. And now these two. Uh, 3x minus i and 4i minus 8x on putting value of x, we'll get these are 4i by 11. So these are 4i by 11. Oh, this is actually not needed but still you can solve it using uh, either by putting value of x by or just by kcl so that will come here so once again let's see the symmetry here and that symmetry is coming because of this diagonal element it is allowing the reverse symmetry so what is the reverse symmetry here whatever current is this the same current is this whatever current is this the same current is this whatever current is this the same current is this whatever current is this the same current is this and this will adjust accordingly so finally we got this all the currents in the, all the branches and we had to find r equivalent between a and b so just put a battery across a and b of the voltage v and that battery had sent a current i the current distribution we have already calculated so whatever this voltage that voltage is here this so uh, v was i r equivalent and the same v i can calculate from here to here so that will be r into 5 i by 11 plus r into 4 i by 11 plus r into 6 i by 11 and just add them you will get i into 15 r by 11 so compare this with this you will get r equivalent is equal to 15 r by 11 and there is another way to solve this that is a star delta conversion so for that i'll make a video on uh, conversion of a star to delta network but uh, we prefer at iitj level that first of all try to find some symmetry here because if you get symmetry that is some physics involved and if you cannot see that so that we can do star delta conversion the for formula are some somewhat cumbersome so i do not prefer usually solving star delta conversion but still there is a another method method star delta conversion and using that we can also solve thank you